If there's anything more rare than getting a 5 star in Genshin, it's getting a skin for your 5 star. What's less rare though is the chance of you liking and subbing. Anyways, Genshin skins just melt through your wallet. I would never even think of buying one unless... Dude! Yo! Stop! Holy! You got the- Oh my god, dude. What the hell? I guess I'm a whale now. You guys stole my free-to-play virginity card. Alright, we'll buy it. Cool. Cool, Ayaka skin. I know a lot of people don't particularly like the Ayaka skin design. I mean, I kind of get that because it really isn't that flashy, you know? I I'd still buy it because who knows when Mihoyo's gonna make another skin next. But one thing that's uh, positive for this skin is the feet. Ayaka finally doesn't have wet socks. Look, no more wet socks. All right, what are we gonna do today? Well, the thing is, I think we're going to do a Melt Ayaka. And this setup right now, I think, is the best. I was thinking of using Mona Bennett as well and replace Sucrose. But I feel like this would deal more damage. I guess we could test it out. I guess I'll show you guys my setup right now. For the weapon, Miss Splitter Reforged. Four-piece Blizzard Strayer. C4, because yes, not a whale by the way. Talents, triple crowned, attack 2.1k, close to 2.2k. I have a little bit of EM here. Crit damage, 263. Not the highest crit damage you could see on an Ayaka, but I think it's pretty good. Crit rate though, you could just add 55% to that because Blizzard Strayer. Wait, actually, if I'm going to be doing a melt reaction, I don't think a four-piece Blizzard Strayer would actually help. Yeah, I was thinking two-piece Wanderer's Troop and two-piece Blizzard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back to the two-piece, two-piece. Yeah, 2038. So it's lower attack by 200. The same EM for some reason. And we have, yeah, 3% more damage, crit damage. Shen he, though, I guess her attack stat is what's important. 3.6k right now because I gave her the Skyward Spine. Two-piece, two-piece. I just basically gave her attack percent. C0. I crowned her e-skill because that's what boosts damage. All right, let's try to do this. First showcase. Maybe I'll start with Ayaka. Just sprint and then Sucrose. Sucrose E just to swirl. Then we go Bennett. Bennett Shenha. I think I'm going to have to use my e-skill though, by the way. Because Ayaka's burst is going to be pretty hard to use. Because it's just going to kill the enemies. Won't Shenha steal some melts? Yeah, she could. But I'll try to not make her steal. We'll see. We'll see. So sprint like that. Oh, wait, what? Sprint? Wait, what? Oh, it's here. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? I think this is easily 100k. I sometimes reach 100k just casually with Ayaka. Bro, wait. Let's not die here, all right? We can't do the damage showcase if we're dead. I just have to wait for the pyro application from the butterfly. Also, I think I'm going to be skipping Ayaka's burst, even though I have C4 for the death shred. Yeah, the damage goal is 100k, but I, I think... I think we're gonna do 200k or 1 million. We'll do 1 million. If Ayaka hits a million damage, I'll give every single one of you guys a welcome moon. Third attempt, sprint, do this, do this, do this, do this. Shen he, tap. Wait, it didn't get the pyro. Oh wait, I could actually use, I could actually use Zucro's burst before I swap to Bennett because it takes a while for the butterfly to get the element anyways, so. Let's do that. Yelan or Hu Tao? I already have Yelan, and I'm most likely gonna skip Hu Tao. So I would say Zhang Ling would be my answer. Boom. Boom. Double E. Burst. Boom. Boom. Oh, he, he's got the pyro application, pyro butterfly. Then E? Bro, 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 that was 46k, no crits. Dude, I forgot the crit rate food buff. Oh my. Okay, um, we'll do this again. We'll do this again. But that was the perfect rotation, all right? That's what we're looking for. Need to make adjustments. Not that. Wait, did I not tap E? I'm pretty sure I tapped E with Shen, huh? Did I not tap E? Wait, so if that was no tap E, then maybe we'll reach 300k? Maybe we could even get 500k. But food pouch from Monstat, you mean the NRE? I've actually never crafted that thing ever since it was introduced in the game. I just never bothered. I feel like opening my bag and clicking the food is not that hard. I'm a different kind of lazy because that thing is supposed to make my life easier, right? But I'm too lazy to make the efficient thing. So I'll just stick with my old ways. All right, here we go. We're back. Double E. Sucrose thing. Pyro. Chenna burst. 
Tap E. Wait for Pyro and E. Bro, wait, dude, I forgot. I forgot the crit rate food again. We were just talking about food. What the? I told you guys to remind me though. You did? Well, I guess I'm blind. Crit rate food, all right? We're not forgetting this time. Tap E. Just wait for the Pyro and E. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. I was hoping for 300k, but I guess I'm getting a little too greedy. I guess I could reach 300k if I use my burst, but Ayaka burst would just kill the poor cube. So yeah, that's that. What's a boss with high HP that I could <laughs> test Ayaka's damage on? Scaramouche level 60? I want to try the setup with Mona. Try with Kazuha. I mean, I already have Kazuha right here. Plus, Mona messes up the rotation. I think I'm just gonna stick with this. But Shenna's only good for, for supporting cryo characters. That's her downside. Her upside is she's thick. We'll just use my burst here. That ended in a second. Like, what? Okay, I think I'm gonna try to use my burst as well. But if I kill Scaramouche with Ayaka burst, I guess we'll try to go level 70 or level 80. All right. We'll do the same rotation here. So, sprint, Sugros, double E, burst, Bennett. Wait, he's already dead. I didn't even get to Ayaka. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to go level 90 here. <laughs> but actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if I use Ayaka burst, it might steal the melt. All right, do that, do this, do this, do that. Burst, Bennett. Do that. Ayaka burst for the death shred. All right. Oh, bro. Yeah. Just as I thought, Ayaka was just gonna mess up the melt reactions. So I guess I should just skip her burst entirely. But I I saw some 70 Ks from Ayaka's burst. That's per tick. Ayaka's burst slashes 20 times, I think. If it's 20 times, that would be 1.4 million. Is that the right math? But I had bigger problems than math, cause for some reason Sucrose wasn't able to clear the cryo aura. Oh, oh wait, I think I see now. It's cause when I use my Sucrose, she somehow doesn't clear the cryo application for some reason. Sucrose, E, E. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't clear the cryo application. That's why I have to change element like this. I think that's specific to Scaramouche because it works in the cryo cube. I mean, robot cube. <laughs> Maybe we'll leave Scaramouche. I think cry. I mean, pyro Regisvine would be just easier overall. Although I don't think it's even going to be more damage than the robot cube. But let's just pretend this was the first damage showcase. Sucrose E. Burst. Pyro application. Okay. Okay, we have the pyro flower. I mean pyro butterfly. E. There you go. Lower damage as expected. <laughs> Actually... I want to try the maybe jangling for an actual melt so we could see if jangling could keep up with my Ayaka's burst for the melts. Maybe this was the first part of the video. The video watchers will never know. They'll never know. But what I was thinking was I'll go to fucking this dude. I just want to see melts from my Ayaka burst. I think that would be pretty, pretty wacky. So rotation here would be just spam everything. All right. How do we do this? Bennett. Shen, huh? Tap E. First. Oh, 91k melts. Let's go. Okay, um, he's dead. <laughs> I don't think I even activated my Miss Splitter passive. The standard Ayaka combo where, where you sprint normal attack then burst. Okay, I think we need a new victim here. Maybe Rock Frog is next. All right, we go Bennett. Miss Jangling. Put in Goba as well. Why not? Tap E. Miss Splitter. And... There you go. Okay. That, that was 100k on the first one. Usually, the second slash from Ayaka's burst would be higher. Because the first slash, that decreases defense. And then the second slash would be the highest damage from everything. Sunfire Ayaka. Oh, like with Bennett Jean? 
Maybe I'll try the Sunfire, Sunfire thing. Because the Sunfire is supposedly gonna apply Pyro, right? Like, consistently. If I give Jean my four-piece, my four-piece VV, I think. Uh, we'll just give it a try. Why not? Okay, maybe I'll just do it at Masanori because it's easier. And we haven't, <laughs> we haven't played with him yet, so. And he's doing his thing. Please hit him. Oh my lordy. Ooh, okay. I don't think he has Pyro on him. Bro. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the rock thing. Just so there's no sword parry techniques and stuff. Okay. Bro. Come on. There we go. There we go. There was some... There was a couple of melts there. Not as high as the... <laughs> as the Zhangling showcase, but still pretty pretty high damage. I didn't see what the highest damage was, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't anywhere near 100k per slash. Well, that's everything. That's all of my Ayaka scuffed builds for melts, I guess. Highest damage was the first one. But so in conclusion, Ayaka's skin is pretty good because she has this. That's a win in my book.